Jonathan here again. I just wanted to show you what we got on with these airbags. Uh, we're trying to make it where these things are stable going up. And you can buy some that's got a, a piece inside of them that helps stabilize them. But, of course, we can't take these apart. So we're going to try to make something up here. What I've done is to cut out two triangles. And... Uh, they, I think it was actually 3 8 It's probably rusted down to about 5 16 now, but it's just some old steel that I had. And uh, I want to give you an idea of the size of these. this airbag. It's a, it's a good size airbag. Give me just a second here. Yeah, that airbag is about 14 inches in diameter. And... We've got the triangles made, and then I have cut out six plates, quarter inch, and uh, also we've had some scrap, and uh, made 27 bushings. And basically what I'm doing is making three hinges, and we're going to actually connect them on each corner and uh, see if we can make one of these stable. I picked up the front of my rollback with one, and uh, picking up one side or the other is fine, but if you try to pick it up in the middle, it'll actually slide off to one side. So we're going to see if we can go ahead and uh, stabilize it to where we can pick one up from the center and not have any problems. And uh, I've seen a few people that tried this. I actually seen one on YouTube, but and uh, like I said, they do work good when you just pick up one side, but. We're trying to make it where it's stable. I mean, even though we do use jack stands, we uh, we want it to pick it up right. And then uh, may put some wheels on it and a handle where we can move it around on the concrete pretty easy. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we got it welded up here. see what it looks like I've already tested it and it's way more stable than just the bay I can pick up the front of the truck here we'll get it up under and I'll show you real quick And there it is picked up now this is a uh, picking up the whole front of a truck that weighs I think this trucks about 12,500 pounds so now we're going to build it with some wheels and a, a handle before when I tried to do this with the uh, without the brackets on it it would actually lean over and sort of push the truck sideways. So we'll get it together farther and get the wheels and the handle on it and the control mounted on it and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here's my pieces and parts pile. I just wanted to show you what I was using to to finish this thing up this is all scrap I try not to buy anything new if I can keep from it but a uh, couple wheels cast iron wheels not sure where they come from uh, maybe off an old jack or something but and uh, just out of my scrap pile and the uh, the axle there that's actually a model T axle and uh, you can see where the keyway was in it but I went ahead and turned one end of it down. I wanted to make sure it wasn't too hard to work with. But uh, where the wheels would, where the wheel would slide on it, I'm going to cut it and turn the other end. But just wanted to show you what I was using. I went to the junk pile, and I'll show you my uh, 
sort of my hoard of junk there one of these days, but that's it. Okay, here's the finished product. I added some rubber to the top and got the wheels on and ran the airline up through the handle so it wouldn't leak. Put some old grips on it. So she's finished here. And uh, we're going to pick up a truck real quick. Okay, it's up and it's sturdy, no problem so far, and uh, I've got it where the wheels are not on the ground until you lift up on the handle, and the hinges, I set them up so they can't, they can only go so far, that way when it comes back down it can't uh, kick the hinge in and hit the bag. But uh, but that's pretty much it. Junk parts. I uh, ended up spending about $5. I, I bought a, a lower fitting so I could get the hose a little closer into the bag for $1.69. And then I had to buy a compression fitting to be able to get the pieces for the airline I needed. That was a, about $3. So. But $5 jack. And uh, I went ahead and used this truck. This is a little heavier, bigger truck. And uh, and I've actually got some work to do on the truck, so I've got a fuel leak, and uh, we're going to get it on some jack stands, and couldn't get that taken care of. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any info on it, let me know. I'll be more than glad to help help anybody out that wants to build one. And uh, and I've got a lot more stuff coming up, so subscribe if you want to, and. You'll see more later. Thank you.